my friends, and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto, and today we will draw a woman by a lake viewed from the back on the iPad. We select a dark grey and a small airbrush for the sketch. This time I'll begin with the head, then the torso, and the overall silhouette of the body, the outline. As she will have a cloak, it will not show very much shape. No much anatomy in sight. <laughs> She'll have a long hair. Maybe I'll add a crown or maybe not. I'm not sure at this point. Okay, that's all we need for her sketch for right now. So I add a new layer and we select a dark green and a softer and wider airbrush to begin the background. Below this line will be a lake, up to this point of the land where she is standing. We can drop the color here and then paint this area a little bit lighter for a grass. The upper area will have trees and let's make a line here of bushes or something like that. I'm using a wider airbrush and let's go darker in some points. We darken the edge and create a new layer for the lake. Actually, this one will be for the dark reflections, the reflections of the trees on the lake. I invite you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ArtistLeonardo to check out what's new. Let's create another layer and with an orangey yellow we paint the lake. I actually want this layer underneath the last one, so that the reflections of the trees stay on top of it. Good! Let's create another layer and place it on top for the grass she's standing on. For the texture of the grass, let's switch the brush and in the organic menu we choose twig. We will do it much faster with this. And yet on another layer, let's draw the mysterious woman. The cloak will be of a very dark blue and she will have red hair, a long one. The illumination is sort of backlit, coming slightly from the right. Let's integrate this edge because it looks very false right now. I think we need to lose the edge a little bit more. Okay, now with a much lighter orange, let's create the light. I like that effect. And also some light for the clock. We can smudge the hair to soften it a little bit and we can paint some single strands on the edges. And if you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code, the mysterious woman. 
and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.